You guys have been asking me on my stream how I did this webcam border. It's a really sleek and minimal design where my corners just have these slightly rounded corners. And then underneath that, I've just got this really subtle drop shadow that separates my camera from what's going on behind my camera. I fucked up that intro, but you know what? I've recorded this like 30 times. Moving on. I really love this effect because it's just so simple and clean, which in my opinion is the design aesthetic that you should be aiming for. So we're gonna do a couple things in this video. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to add rounded corners to your camera or really just cut out your camera to be any shape that you want. And in the second part of the video, I'll show you guys a couple ways to add drop shadows to any source in OBS. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, nutty, this is too easy. I'm skipping this video. Well, don't because if you wait till the end of the video, I have a little surprise for you. I, there's no surprise. I just want you to stay for the whole video. Roll the intro. This video is sponsored by me. I take all the credit for this. Let's not waste any time. We're gonna start by cutting out the shape for our webcam. And there's actually a couple of ways to do this. Now I'm sure some of you smart people are gonna be like, I know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say mask, isn't he? He's gonna say mask, mask. Sorry, I didn't know my viewers were a bunch of fortune tellers. Yeah, we're gonna use masks. But there's actually a fancy way to add rounded corners to your webcams via OBS plugins, but we'll cover that later. We're gonna start with doing masks. Okay, so what the hell is a mask? A mask, you can think of like a cookie cutter and you can use this cookie cutter to cut your webcam, your gameplay or any source on OBS and cut it into any shape that you want. Now this mask takes the form of a simple PNG file that you can create using any image editing software you want, something like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. What? Photoshop? Oh man, I can't afford that, I ain't Oprah. There must be something that's free. Today we're going to be using a program called Inkscape because it's totally free and really easy to use and it's just perfectly suited for doing what we're going to be doing today. So as always, I left a link in the description box for where you can download Inkscape. It's available for all platforms, Mac, Windows, Linux, so everybody's going to be able to do this. When you have Inkscape installed, open it up and this is what you should be looking at. So before we even click on anything, let me just explain what we're going to be doing. We basically want to draw out whatever shape that we want our webcam to be. So if we want our webcam to be a circle, then we're going to draw out a circle. If you want your webcam to be like a star shape, you're going to draw out a star shape. So first decide what shape your webcam is going to be. Now before drawing out that shape, we're going to change the canvas size of our page to be the same resolution as our camera or whatever source in OBS that you wanna cut a shape out of. So to do that, click on file, go into document properties, and then under where it says custom size, change the resolution to 1920 by 1080, if that's the resolution of your camera, and then make sure to change the units to pixels. Next, you wanna turn on the page grid by going into view and selecting page grid. This just makes it easier to position stuff on the screen. And then you can just start drawing the shape that you want your webcam to be. So if you want it to be a circle, then select the circle tool and draw it a circle. If you wanna make it a star shape, select the star shape, draw it a star. If you wanna make it uh, any weird shape that you want, Haha, ha, that's a penis. Draw out the shape, any shape that you want. This isn't an Inkscape tutorial, so I recommend if you want to make a fancy shape, look up a bunch of tutorials for Inkscape. The point is, draw out any shape that you want. I just want to give my camera some slight rounded corners, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle tool and just draw a big ass rectangle to fill the whole canvas. And then I'm gonna select the node tool and you'll notice on my rectangle, you'll see a little circle in the top right corner. We're gonna click on that circle with the node tool and just drag it down just a little bit. And you'll notice it'll just add these rounded corners to all four corners of a rectangle. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it really simple for now. Now we're gonna take this mask and we're gonna export it. To do that, press Control Shift E and in the right hand pane, you'll see a section that says export PNG image. Set your export area to page and then choose a file destination by selecting export as, choose the destination and then select export. Your final result should look like this. It's just a black rectangle. Great. I forgot the next part of the video. Now you can go back into OBS and then apply this mask to your webcam. And you do that by right clicking on your webcam, going into filters and then adding an image mask blend. And then in the drop down box, you select 
alpha mask alpha channel definitely didn't read that off my notes and then set the path to that mask that you made in Inkscape, and then bam, boom, done. Next part of the tutorial. Now, if the specific shape that you're looking for is just adding rounded corners to your webcam, and you're not trying to do like another fancy shape, like a circle or anything, there is a better way of adding rounded corners via OBS plugins. Now, because we're using plugins, this isn't gonna work in that other program. You, you know the one I'm talking about. We're gonna be using a plugin that we've talked about on this channel called OBS Shader Filter. If you don't know what OBS Shader Filter is, click on this thing here, and talk more about it. But basically it's a plugin for OBS Studio that allows you to apply things called shaders to any source in OBS. And essentially a shader is a thing that allows you to manipulate the way your webcam looks or any source in OBS. And one of the shaders you can add is called rounded rectangles. And the way it works is you just right click on your camera, add a rounded rectangles shader, and then that will allow you to just set a corner radius for your camera. And that will just round the corners directly in OBS without you having to make a PNG mask or anything like that. So if you wanna do this, install OBS Shader Filter for OBS Studio. I left a link down below for where you can download that. Then just right click in your camera in OBS, go into filters and then add a user defined shader. Check the box that says load shader from text file and click browse. It's automatically gonna bring up the examples folder. And in that examples folder, you're gonna see something that says rounded underscore rect. Select that one and then set your corner radius to be whatever value you want. And you should notice that the corners of your webcam should now be rounded. All right, part two. This video is taking way longer than I thought it would, but we're halfway there, Cody. I believe in you. Let's keep going. No, not you. The other Cody. You know who I'm talking about. Let's work on adding the drop shadow for our webcam. Now, I really like drop shadows. It just adds that little bit of the, you know, the little bit of the really the polish to just really complete your stream design. Now, there's a couple ways of doing drop shadows. There's the dumb way, and then there's the smart way. And I actually really prefer the dumb way. Now, the dumb way is to just use a PNG file. Like literally the best way to add drop shadows in OBS is to just make the drop shadows in a PNG file using Photoshop, or in our case, using Inkscape, and then importing that in OBS as an image file. So back in Inkscape, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that mask that we just made before and we're gonna press Control D to duplicate it. Then take that duplicate and just drag it down. It's all right if you drag it out of the canvas, select the duplicate that you just created and then go into filters, go into shadows and glows and then select drop shadow. And this is gonna be where you get to customize how your drop shadow looks. So what I like to do is I like to set the shadow type to outer cutout. So this only shows the shadow itself and not the shape of your camera. And then you could also adjust the horizontal and vertical offset if you want your shadow to be like in a particular direction. I just like leaving it at zero just to put a consistent shadow around my whole camera, but it's up to you how you want to customize this. You could also adjust the blur radius if you want to have a larger drop shadow. And then you can also adjust the color. What I like to do is I like to go into the color tab and then make the opacity all the way up at 100%, just to have a darker drop shadow. By the way, it's probably a good idea to turn on live preview if you wanna see how your drop shadow is gonna look like as you're adjusting things. When you're happy with how it looks, click apply and you should see your new drop shadow. Quick tip, if you wanna make your drop shadow darker, literally just select it and press Control D to duplicate it. Now, is there a better way of doing this? Probably. Do I know what that is? Hell no. Who do you think I am, Michelangelo? Now you can export your drop shadow by going to export PNG image, but instead of selecting page, we're gonna select selection because that's going to just export the thing that we have selected. Save that PNG to wherever you want. And then now in OBS, you can just right click and add an image source and point it to that drop shadow PNG file that you just created. And then it's just a matter of positioning that image file underneath your camera to make it look like it's just one solid block thing. Now, the second method for adding drop shadows is to use plugins for OBS. And it's daytime now. Who cares about continuity? Get over it. I was going to talk about a second method that involves installing a drop shadow plugin for OBS, but I decided to scrap that because check out how much of my GPU this plugin uses. And the reason why this is happening is because if you use this drop shadow plugin, 
OBS has to redraw your drop shadow every single frame, which is really taxing on your GPU. This is why I actually just recommend sticking to making PNG files for your drop shadows, because if your camera is just a rectangle anyway, there's no reason why you have to redraw your drop shadow every single frame. However, there is one situation where using a PNG file just won't cut it. And that is if you're using a green screen. And that is because now the shape of your webcam is dynamic and it's changing all the time. So you can't just make a PNG file for this. So well, what do we do? What are we going to do about that? Here's a little bit of a hack that I figured out in OBS that doesn't use up like a thousand percent of your GPU. So you're going to need the stream effects plugin for OBS link down below if you don't have that already. Then you can just right click and add a source and we're going to add a source mirror and we're going to select our webcam. Now, if you don't know what a source mirror is, basically it's a new option that allows you to make a copy of your webcam, but then you can apply filters to this copy without affecting your original webcam. So what we're going to do with this copy of our webcam is we're going to apply some filters to it to make it look like a shadow. So the best way I found to do this is to first add a color correction filter and then you can drop the brightness all the way down to the left and that's going to make your camera look like a black silhouette which is pretty close to what we want for our drop shadow. I also like to turn down the opacity slider a little bit just to make the shadow not look so harsh. And then just as a final touch, I like to add a blur filter on top of that, which really just softens up the edges and really makes it look like a convincing drop shadow. So now you have this separate drop shadow source in OBS, and all you have to do is position this underneath your camera, and then bam, dude, you're done. End of the video. Boom, let's go. Anyway, at the end of all this, this should be your final product. And I know it looks really simple and basic, but you know what? I think it looks really professional and I think it looks really cool because I did it. Awesome. You guys can stop asking me how to make drop shadows now. Go back to watching my stream. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Check me out there. Also, there's a Discord if you guys need help on anything related to streaming. So make sure to join the Discord. Links in the description box down below. Also, let me know if you like these simpler style OBS tutorials. If you like them, leave a comment down below. But please, positive comments only because I am too fragile to handle criticism, right? Cool. Peace out. Catch you guys next video.